The majority of new phones on the market today come pre-configured with Wi-Fi 6 or the more recent Wi-Fi 6E standard, with the latter serving primarily as a stopgap measure before the unavoidable release of Wi-Fi 7 devices. According to recent sources, the first wave of Wi-Fi 7 phones should hit the market in the second half of the upcoming year. The Galaxy S23 and S24 are anticipated to be among the first smartphones to support Wi-Fi 7, continuing Samsung's tradition of being one of the early pioneers of the latest Wi-Fi standard. So, what to expect in S23 Ultra? Is it supported with the new Wi-Fi 7? Well, you want to know more? Let's get moving. To put it mildly, the world of Wi-Fi is somewhat complicated. The majority of homes utilize Wi-Fi 5 routers, which can transmit data at a maximum speed of 3.5 gigabytes per second. That is only a theoretical speed, though. The actual performance of Wi-Fi 5 frequently falls short of those theoretical measures because of its relatively small range and constrained number of wireless channels. Wi-Fi 6 routers are now widely used by consumers and ISPs to overcome these restrictions. In addition to supporting a maximum wireless speed of 9.6 gigabytes per second, Wi-Fi 6 is better suited to manage a large number of connected devices. The Wi-Fi 6E standard goes a step further by making use of the 6 gigahertz radio band to lessen network traffic and boost the performance of wireless internet in your house. Wi-Fi 7 should provide Wi-Fi rates of at least 30 gigabytes per second, even though it hasn't been finalized. In comparison to Wi-Fi 5 routers, that is roughly 10 times quicker. In addition, Wi-Fi 7 provides a connection that is highly stable due to new latency-busting technologies. The first Wi-Fi 7 routers are anticipated to go on sale in 2023, and they will undoubtedly be very expensive. Likely, your ISP won't start selling Wi-Fi 7 routers to consumers until 2025, and even then, it won't be widely used for another several years. Even though Wi-Fi 7 hasn't been finalized, it should offer Wi-Fi speeds of at least 30 gigabytes per second. That is nearly 10 times faster than routers using Wi-Fi 5. In addition, Wi-Fi 7 offers an extremely steady connection because of new latency-busting algorithms. In 2023, the first Wi-Fi 7 routers are expected to be available for purchase, and they will unquestionably be quite expensive. Your ISP probably won't begin offering Wi-Fi 7 routers for sale to customers until 2025, and even then, they won't be widely used for another few years. Now, it would seem a little pointless to include Wi-Fi 7 in a 2023 smartphone. It's one of those nerdy things that the ordinary person doesn't care about, right? Okay, sort of. But guess what? In 2023, the FastConnect 7800 processor will only be used in high-end phones, many of which, like those made by Samsung, will have three to five years of updates free of charge. That implies that even after Wi-Fi 7 becomes widely available and affordable, consumers will continue to use these phones. Your smartphone will already support Wi-Fi 7 when you eventually purchase one or the ISP forces you to use one. And it means you won't need to upgrade your smartphone to experience quicker, more dependable internet service. So definitely watch for an upgrade in the S23 Ultra because Samsung is not missing out on any chances of upgrading and staying at the top in the Android competition. Well, with that said, what you think about this video? For more exciting and informative videos, keep watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.